Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about a really serious and underdeveloped topic in anime, racism, inequality, and to some extent, the Holocaust. And to that extent, here is a warning that there may be some scenes not fit for younger kids, so take that in consideration before watching this video, as well as some minor spoilers ahead. With that said, let's start talking about today's anime. The cute and moe centers life, play the music! A Centaur's Life is a slice-of-life comedy and supernatural anime that takes place in a world that took a different path of evolution from the world that we know, resulting in a mythological creatures such as centaurs, satyrs, mermaids and demons taking the place of humans in today's society. The main story revolves around Himeno Kimihara, a young centaur as she goes around her daily life with her friend and family. Okay, now that you heard the premise, you may be thinking, but Justin, a slice of life comedy? The only supernatural point of this anime is the races. I thought it came here for hardcore topics. Well, yes and no. And to explain this, let's move on to review the anime. The good, the bad and its ending. You see, this anime may be a bit weird for somebody just looking to get some monster girl cute moe action. As the main story focuses around Hime and her daily life as a student. You see her go to school, enjoy her life with friends, participate in school activities, and so on. And trust me, there are still some really cute and moist scenes, such as the little first scene showing a kiss between Hime and her friend, a demon girl, Nozomi. Yes, a girl. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> but on the other hand, there are some random pieces of information we get on every episode that makes us rethink the text of this anime. First, we get an explanation on evolution and how the four main groups of humans came to be. Human with horns, like catfolk, goatfolk and fawns. Humans with wings, like angelfolk and dragonfolk. Humans with four legs, like centaurs. And lastly, merfolk, and those who live in the sea. We also see depictions of brutality between species as well as some words here and there. And while the teacher is explaining this in class, there are some weird people hearing the teacher from outside the room, as if to make sure she doesn't say anything unnecessary. Ending the speech with the sentence, equality is the most important in civil rights or life itself. And this idea becomes truly terrifying to some point, since we get to see the government making Mechanical legs so that Mirfolk can walk on earth as they believe not being able to do so is unequal? Or how centaurs are not allowed to carry people as it is taught as a discrimination and it will mean to be taken to a correctional facility to, let's say, get some re-education? And this is explained how in Japan centaurs were brave warriors, but in other countries they were treated as slaves and mounts. And looking at those images between their past society and human society, we start to make some comparisons and think that we may have not been that different in the past and maybe even in the present. But here, we go even further explaining that even talking about the past atrocities is illegal. So, during different episodes, we get to see different aspects of race inequality and how this has affected people. But this is well hidden under the guise of a more slice of life anime. A good example of this is how during an episode the school makes a visit to Mirfolk School. And you see some cute interactions, but in those cute interactions there are some mentions of small but important stuff, such as an explanation that the mere folk usually don't wear clothes, and had to wear bathing suits because that will be weird for the visitors, or how they usually take classes underwater, but had to lower the water levels in order to let the air breathers inside the school. So yes, the show is filled with cute scenes and heartwarming moments, but we also see some weird depictions of cultural differences race inclusion, and the importance this world gives to equality over anything else. Another example of this situation is when a new exchange student comes from school to, from Antarctica. She resembles a human with a snake head and a tail. And due to her race being logical thinkers, she feels a bit alienated to the humans, and it's even believed that she's an alien. During an episode, we also get to understand the situations of Antarcticans, and we draw some comparisons to Muslims and the Middle East, 
as there is some news that an altercation between an Antarctic and UFO sunk an American ship. And while the exchange student is walking around the city, there are some people following her, even with weapons in case she does anything weird. And the last example of these weird moments is a literal full episode in episode number 9. Some major spoilers ahead for this episode, so beware. So, we see an amphibian businessman visiting him as a school. And before that, there are some explanation about his background and how he serves as mediator between mammal-based lifeforms and amphibians, as he sees how his people are thinking about raging war and amassing weapons in the process, which serves as an understanding for all the conflicts raging right now in Africa. In the same episode, we also get some flashbacks from an old politician who got trapped in an intern camp when he was a kid, but was saved by a kind centaur who was believed to be a traitor by his people. And while he gives hope to the kid, the other prisoners resent him and end up hanging him, just as the Freedom Army arrives to save everybody. And through the eyes of the old politician, we see how he learned to be a kind heart and accepting to others, giving a hand to the amphibian even though he's slimy and gets advice to wear gloves. In this episode, I understood that this anime wasn't meant to be just a fun moe anime with some edgy topics here and there, but a real and thoughtful depiction of race inequality and a depiction of what we have done in the past as well as a touch of dystopian future on what we could have become if we focus too much on being equal and trying to make everyone the same regardless of any special quirks or, or traits. And with that said, let's move on to the next topic. What I like about this anime was both its premise of a cute anime with a cute center and its dark themes about race inequality. But I would have liked it more if the anime could have decided on just a single topic, as we sometimes get full episodes of Hime being cute with a few moments of these different themes. But then we get the full concentration camp just in one go, with Hime showing just a bit at the end. So overall, I would have enjoyed if the, if the author could have decided in a single topic and focus only on it, since having two at the same time makes it difficult for the plot to surface and progress. And with that said, let's move on to the last point. So, as I said, with two really different themes in an anime, the topics at hand make it difficult for the plot to progress. And this makes the ending a bit disappointing, as the last episode is about an RPG type of episode that focuses on characters playing a fantasy story, where they fight monsters in a dungeon, and finishing with an arm wrestling competition where Hime wins. To be honest, I would have preferred for the Holocaust episode to be the last, as it would have felt as a cool story to end and a bit of a cliffhanger with the amphibian war looming so they could rally up for a second season. But I guess I will have to enjoy some other cute center girls in different shows meanwhile. So overall, the topics of this anime can get a bit dark, but to be honest, it was a breath of fresh air with some topics that are almost never depicted in anime. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this, but there is a literal lesbian couple in the show. Nice. With that said, we get to a conclusion of this anime review. What did you guys thought about the center's life? Did you enjoy the different themes that get depicted in this anime? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.